Reporting from Arkham Asylum, this is Gotham Rogues. In this video we count down the 5 greatest Two-Face costumes slash designs. You all know that Two-Face is my favorite of all the rogues, and that I think he has the greatest visual design in the history of the universe, so there's no point in going on about it. Let's get to the damn list. Oh, and as usual, write your own favorites in the comments. Number 5. The John Romita Jr. Design Featured in last year's My Own Worst Enemy storyline, the opening arc of Scott Snyder's All-Star Batman series, this look for Harvey was drawn by legendary artist John Romita Jr. The outfit is really interesting. It's not Two-Face's regular two-toned suit, but instead he's wearing a red suit jacket, vest and tie with a black shirt and pants. It looks amazing, and I've always felt red and black goes great together. But it isn't just as simple as good color matching. I love what the colors symbolize. In the story, Two-Face is completely in control, the good Harvey Dent side laying dormant. So what we get is a pure evil Two-Face. As such, this outfit makes a lot of sense, as it looks like something the devil himself would wear. Then of course, there's the scarring. It's basically the standard modern red, more realistic disfigurement, yet Romita has given it his unique touch, with the muscle and tendons being exposed. I really like how red it is too, I mean that's really red, and it matches his outfit, plus goes well with the devil himself motif. Number 4. The Jason Sean Alexander Design yeah, this one is really specific and obscure, as it was only featured in one very unknown comic, namely a short story from the digital Legends of the Dark Knight series from a few years ago. The story, illustrated by artist Jason Sean Alexander, is called The Beautiful Ugly, and it's actually pretty damn great. But anyway, so the visual design of Harvey. It's very unique, and we've never really seen a character look anything quite like this. So the get up. He's wearing a regular white suit that's kinda dirtied and weathered on the evil side. The tie and shirt seems to shift colors depending on the panel, which is strange, but the clothes aren't really why I like this design so much. It's the scarred face. As much as I love the red scarring, I actually prefer when it's green. It's not realistic, I know, but I don't care about realism. This isn't the classic green scarring though, but something completely different. It looks very grotesque, distorted and almost decayed. It's a pretty bizarre, damn freaky and kind of surreal looking Two-Face, and that's why I love it. Number 3. The Animated Series Design yeah, obviously this one was going to show up on the list. Created by Bruce Timm himself, the stylish look Two-Face sported on Batman the Animated Series is very iconic and influential. Nowadays people probably forget that and take it for granted, but it was actually very groundbreaking when it came out. It's basically a complete reimagining of the character's visuals. Before this, he usually sported a classic look, with green scarring and a suit split between orange and purple. There were some exceptions, and slight differences here and there, but it was pretty much the same. Then along comes Tan and Two-Face looks like this. Blue scarring and a black and white suit. Completely different. I love the black and white suit. It's very film noir and symbolic of yin and yang, good and evil, at the same time. A brilliant design choice, and it's surprising no one had thought of it sooner. The blue scarring and stark white hair is also a great touch. Plus Harvey himself looks very different, with unique facial features and a darker than usual complexion, suggesting Italian roots. This is also the Two-Face I grew up with and which introduced me to the character so it will always have a special place in my heart. Number 2. The Tim Sale Design it seems like all of these lists have a Tim Sale entry, and like I said in the previous videos, the man did some amazing redesigns of the rogues. I don't like all of them, but most are great, Two-Face being perhaps the greatest. This look for Harvey of course appeared in The Long Halloween and Dark Victory, the classic graphic novels written by Jeff Loeb. I love the suit Sale gives Harvey. He wears many different ones, and they're all these big, bulky, double-breasted 1930s style suits, perfectly fitting with the kind of retro visuals of the graphic novels. The colors and patterns are pretty subtle with a lot of blacks, greys and blues featuring pinstripes. It definitely has an old school elegant gangster style to it, which I love. Then of course there's the scarring, a hideous mess of red flesh. It's like everything has just been burnt off. Nowadays that's the standard look for the character, although not as well done as hair, but back then it was something new. It's not the first appearance of this look, but I'd say it's the one that popularized it. I actually used to be completely obsessed with this design, and whenever I drew Two-Face I always mimicked this look. And now for the greatest Two-Face design of them all, number 1, the classic retro design. 
The original look the character sported from his introduction in the 1940s up to the early 1990s essentially. He would occasionally look a bit different, but this was the standard Two-Face look for about 50 years. Green scarring in a two-toned orange and purple suit. The purple side usually featuring a checkerboard or plate pattern. I know this is not most people's favorite Two-Face design, but I personally love it. You'd think orange and purple would be a bit too much, too garish, but somehow it just works for me. It looks very colorful and comic booky, yet without being goofy. Plus of course I love purple. Then there's the green scarring. A lot of you guys don't like it and for a while back when I was obsessed with the Tim Sale look I didn't either. But in later years I've changed my mind and realized that this is really how I want Two-Face to look. Not some burnt dude but a half man half monster. Because symbolically that's what the character is. The green color and the unrealistic design of his scars really bring that idea out. A living Jekyll and Hyde. It kind of has an old school horror movie vibe to it too. It's not really realistic whatsoever no, but a great look in my opinion. So there you have it, those are the 5 greatest Two-Face costumes slash designs in my opinion. Let me know in the comments which ones are yours, and as always, remember, Arkham Asylum awaits you in the next video.